Hello everybody, hello and welcome to the channel. I was out in the back the other day and I noticed the front brakes making a right racket. I'll, I'll show you. Can you hear that? Hear that noise? I think the pads have gone. I think they need new pads. Um, so I've been online, ordered myself some pads. Um, just got these off eBay and I'm going to take the pads out and see if they need replacing. I think they will. But if not, I mean, it does no harm obviously to replace the pads. The back pads seem okay, so I think I might be able to leave them ones will be. Um, but I think the front pads, I think, they, I think they need replacing. So I thought we'd video it, just in case anybody else wants to replace the pads. Um, as most of you people know, I'm not an expert with disc brakes on bikes. It's quite a new thing for me, disc brakes, but it's very similar to how a car works, I think, you know, with the calipers and the, the pistons. And I've replaced many pads on cars over the years, many pads. So um, it's a very similar setup, I think, just on a smaller scale. So uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to replace them, put these new ones in, and hopefully get rid of that great noise. Because I'm sure the pads are basically what we used to call in the car, um, doing cars, is back down to the back plate. So I think it's basically the pads is gone and the back plate is hitting the disc. Um, so, and I can see a few little score marks on here as well. So I think it's starting to wear, um, starting to affect the disc. So I think now is the time to change them. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, I'm going to take this wheel off, um, and then I'm going to put these in. So I've took the wheel off, and you can see here if I put with the screwdriver, that's the pads there. Um, I'm going to use the screwdriver to push the disc back, um, so it gives more space. And now, obviously, I don't want to damage the discs, but I'm pushing back with the pads, um, so it won't affect the pads. Um, the the pistons I should say because I'm pushing with the pads so I'm just push them pistons back in because obviously as these pads have worn down these pistons have moved out a lot further than what they should be so I'm just pushing them easing them back in there just to give us that bit of space when I put the new pads in because the new pads are going to be a lot um, bigger than them once so these pistons have to push back in, which is the same principle as a car. You have to do this to do this as a car as well. If you change the pads on a car, you have to do exactly the same thing. You have to push the um, the pistons back in to give you that space to get the new pads in. So you can see the pistons just going in there, especially this side. You can see the side here when I'm putting the screwdriver over just there. You see that's gone in a lot further than what it was before. As I say, if you didn't do this, you'd never get the new pads in, and it would just catch all the time. Now, I've got a little cutter pin on this side here, which I need to remove. So I've turned the camera around the other way there, so you can see that little pin there, the little cutter pin, um, which it just needs the end. I don't know if you can see there, hopefully, just needs an end flattening there, so I can get these out. So I've got the cockerel in the background, so then that just pulls out um, that little pin there. Is splayed at the end like that so it was like I'll just show you how it was it was like that bent over the end like that and that holds the pads in place and I just straightened it up like that like that basically so it just pulls straight out um, and it doesn't matter about that cut the pin because with the new pads as you can see there I get pins with it as well, so it doesn't matter how to use the, obviously put new pins in. So make sure them pistons are pushed in, and then I should be able to just pull out these pads. Like so, just push them out the other side there. And that's them there. That's the pads. Hopefully they come to focus. So they're the old ones, and it's all of a... Yeah, as you can see, I was right. I don't know if you can see there, hopefully they come to focus. Can you see the scratches? Hope you can see how they are, right? They're definitely worn down. Yeah, I'll show you these ones by comparison. I'm taking them out of the pack here, but you can see. Can you see there? So much meat on there, as I would say, compared to that. But I'll show you in a minute once, obviously. Uh, once I take them out of the pack, I'll show you the difference. But that's the old one there, and it's pretty, pretty badly worn down. So I've turned the camera back around this way again so you can see better. So. I don't even tell you which is the new, which is the old there, do I? But just in case you weren't sure, the old's on the left, the new is on the right. You can see that it's back down, it's down the back plate, as I, as I said. And you get the same effect when your car brakes do the same, and the pads wear too low, they hit what you call the back plate. So there's the back plate, um, and there's the pad. As you can see, there's no pad left on that, or no meat, as my dad used to say, on the pads. And it's back down the back plate, and that's what the noise has been. It's been scratching on here. 
Um, so I'll put these new ones in now. So uh, yeah, I definitely caught it in time before it absolutely wrecked the uh, disc. Um, but yeah, it was a bad way, so I'll change them over now. But first of all, I'm going to clean up inside here to make sure it's all ready to put these in. So it's got, I've got some disc brake cleaner, not promoting these, just what I happen to have in the house. Now I'll just give it a good clean up. Make sure it's ready for the new part to go in. I'm not actually rubbing the screwdriver on the pistons, I'm just using a bit of cloth to get it in there and give it a good clean. So when you put them back together, the spring goes around the outside like that. Just so it goes around the edge there and then sits on top like that, so the holes match up and then the same on the other side as well. Um, so yeah, and I'll put the other one on now as well. See the one goes the exact same way, along the edge there of the pad, like that, and just make sure all the holes line up, and then that behaves like that. So basically when the pistons push in, these push back against the pistons, so when you let the brakes off obviously they'll go back out again. So it does that when it's on your bike. And um, brake on, brake off. Slot them back in, like that. And then put the new cotter pin in. Run your cotter pin, so when that goes in, through the slot at the other side. And holds it all in place. So what you can see there, there's the pin there. So the pin goes through. You see just going through there. Goes through the side of the pads, the back of the pads, and out the other side. And then of course, that will get opened out. Get the skirt of it and just open that out. Like so. And that's just going to stop that getting pulled back through like that, just basically for safety. And obviously to keep the brakes on the bike, which is always good. So that's it, that's the pads in. Much better. And as I say, I'll put the wheel back on, and I'm sure the sound will be a lot better too. So that's much better. They are catching a little bit, but that's to be expected really because the, the new pads um so obviously the you know a little bit thicker and the, the pistons have been out for so long they'll take a while to push back in. Um, but yeah that's what the just to show you again that's what the worn pad looks like. If you can see there, it's kind of making a focus. But yeah, it's down to the back plate, it's in a it's in a sorry state, so yeah. Um, and the giveaway was the sound, as I said before, very similar to in a car, you hear the grating on a car and it does the same kind of noise. So, um, so the back plate, the metal was on metal basically, the metal of the back of the pad, that there was rubbing on the disc. So that's all I had for my brakes for the front. I'm going to actually check the backs as well. The back's quite quiet actually, but I'm going to just, just double check just to make sure before it gets to that state as well. So yeah, so that, that was definitely a good call changing these pads. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there and I'll see you all later. See you later. Bye bye.